Hey everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track You and I by Andromedic. So this is the original track. And this is the bass we're gonna be making. Now I know it's not exactly the same, but it is very easy to just fine tune this bass. exactly to where you want it in terms of how it fits in your mix. So if you spend long enough fine tuning this and experimenting with the techniques that I'm going to show you in this video, I'm very sure that you can get super, super close to the original sound. But of course, what I want to show you is the sound sign principles that go behind making sounds like this one so you can make your own. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so before you get into the video, these are the notes that we're going to be playing. And so now let's jump into Faceplan. Okay, so here in Faceplan, what we're going to be doing is we're going to add an analog oscillator so we get the group, and we're going to add multiple sine waves, like this. And then we're going to add two instances of distortion over here. That's the sound you should be getting, not a super great one. Let's actually boost the drive and let's bring the gain down. And let's actually put a limiter here at the end. Just so we um, don't drive crazy people who are uh, going to say that we're clipping. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to feed all this uh, harmonics into this distortion. So we're going to have a main one as a sub, and then we're going to uh, strategically place these harmonics to give us the tones of the sound. Now one cool thing that we can do is we can add an LFO, set it on fourth notes, set it on unipolar, and then create a shape like this. So we can add some attack into those harmonics. So let's actually add this into a level here. There you go. We can set it on one shot also, just to be safe. Let's bring this level down. And with this, we can just select the overall envelope of these harmonics. Cool, so now what we're gonna do is let's just keep stacking this harmonics. Let's just remove these ones. And let's do an octave of this one by multiplying this six by two, which will be 12. So we can kind of see uh, what each harmonic does um, in terms of what the series of harmonics of the original sound is. So let's actually leave it here. Bring it to 30% maybe. And one thing that we can do is we can add some noise in between all of this. So let's put the noise here all the way up and we can add a filter and filter only the high end of the noise. Let's bring this down. Cool. Let's also add a little bit more of, of these layers into the sound. Just like that. Cool. And now we can just keep stacking different harmonics here. So for example, let's actually do 24. There you go. Let's do uh, one more. Let's do 15. And now let's just fine tune the specific amounts of all of these oscillators. So for example, the one at 12, actually let's bring that one up. That one's really cool. Now let's bring, let's bring the sub up actually. Let's see if we can even add more sub. Just 
just like that, just to saturate the sound a little bit more. Now let's see if we can just fine tune this fifth. There's one here that is too high. It's actually this one. As you can see, this is just a never ending process of fine tuning here. Now here at the end, I'm just gonna add a little reverb, just so you kinda hear this sound, uh, how it would fit in the context of a mix. I'm also gonna be adding some chorus here. And as you can see, this is now all about fine tuning this uh, sound. And choosing the specific harmonic that you want to be the highest. So yeah, from here, now it's up to you. Fine tune it however you want to fit your track. So yeah, this is how you make basses like the ones in the track Andromedic You and I. It's not exactly the same sound, but it does give you a setup that you can follow in order to create sounds like this one. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the sound, also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you wanna support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.